Hi friends, my name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan and I am so excited to talk to you today about the five most unforgettable middle grade novels of 2019. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Let's go. If you're watching this video before midnight, December 16th, 2019, please go to the Nerdy Book Club and nominate your favorite books of the year. Uh, the books that I'm gonna be talking about today are the middle grade novels that I will be nominating for this year's Nerdies. Uh, but the more people that nominate, the better. We wanna have just the best list, the best collection of titles that teachers and educators can use to help build their classroom libraries, to help build their school libraries, and to help make our, help our students live more book loving lives. So please go to Nerdy Book Club and nominate your favorite. Okay, so I love middle grade fiction. It is my jam. I love it so much. So when I knew that I had to nominate five middle grade books for the Nerdy Book Club Awards this year, I was really stressed out because I went and I looked at my list of all of my favorite books and from the year and I just couldn't get down to five. So what I did was I said, well, this is hard and it's okay that it's hard. That means I had a good reading year. So I gave myself a little props, a little love. Then I said, well, what can I do to pick five? What strategy can I use? So what I did to go from all of the books that I love in this amazing year of children's literature is I picked five, the five most unforgettable reads in my heart. So these five books I found to be the most unforgettable. All right, here we go. Book number one, The Lion Tender by Kate Allen. This book is, it's unforgettable. Lucy is this amazing child, this amazing girl who has been through so much in losing her mother. And early in the book, you're just getting a chance to meet her and she's got, she's an artist and she's got the coolest friend. His name is Fred and they have just this amazing friendship and they're doing all these summer things and life is just like going pretty well. It's like, she's like on this amazing journey and like, it's going to be like the best summer ever. And then something so awful happens. And I read this book aloud to my students. And when we got to the part where something so awful happens, like they didn't even believe me. Like it was just so rough and it was so difficult on their hearts. <sighs> but it made for a beautiful read aloud. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about the journey that Lucy goes on. I can't stop thinking about her friends her family and the way that they tried to put the pieces back together. If you have not read The Lion Tender, you are missing out. This book is so stinking good. You will most likely cry. It's so good, but man, it can be sad. Holy smoke. So The Lion Tender by Kate Allen, book one. I'll put a, a list of all of the books down in the description of this video so that you don't have to take notes now, not that you were taking notes, but so good, The Lion Tender. The Bridge Home by Padma Van Kentraman. Whoa, this book was just really eye-opening. Like we live in, I live in my own little bubble in this teeny, teeny town in Parma, Michigan, teeny town called Parma, Michigan. And, and this is a little rural community and everyone kind of looks like me just for the most part. And like, you don't know what's going on in the world. like. Like growing up here, I grew up here. Like I don't know what's going on in the world. Like I just was in my own bubble. I was going to the Parma Party Store and buying my candy bar and my pop and my pack of baseball cards every day in the summer. Like life was awesome. I wish I could have read a book like this. I wish I could have met these two sisters. I wish I could have just learned a little bit more about what life was like outside of my world. Uh, this story that takes place in India with these two girls, it just rips your heart out. And it makes you just Think about all of the things that are going on in this world that you don't know about. All of these things that kids, children are having to deal with. I don't know. Like I was sad when I didn't get the, the baseball card in the pack I wanted. Like I thought my life was rough. So I could have used a heavy dose of books like this when I was a kid. Uh, so now that I'm a teacher and I get to help kids find books, I'm thankful that there are books like, like The Bridge Home. And I'm thankful that Padma created this amazing story for us to to share to talk about with kids book two the bridge home book three uh indian no more by charlene willing mcmanus and tracy sorrell 
I don't know if a lot of people have read this book, so hopefully this book can put this this book can be put on people's radar. Um, but I just didn't know this story. I didn't know anything about the Indian relocation program. I knew nothing about like the 1900s with natives in our country. And like, holy smokes, like, I just, like this was like 50 or 60 years ago. Um, and I was just amazed to see um, this girl and her family be relocated. I think it's San Diego area. Los Angeles area and just what it was like for them trying to figure out who they are and I don't know I don't know friends like you need to read this book Indian no more because as a family tries to figure out are they Indian are they American are they both like what are they who are they uh this, this book I thought a lot I thought a lot about it and, and and read the back matter when you're finished because the reason that the book was written by two, uh, created by two authors is because it's just, I don't even want to say, I want you to read it. If you don't know the story, read the book and then read the back matter. Wow. You need to know more. I'm guessing you might not have read this one. You might not even, this might be the one book, like the surprise book on the list. Add this to your to read list. You need to know more. It's really, really good. Uh, it's not even that long. <laughs> Sometimes I like short books. Book four, maybe he just likes you. It's about a seventh grade girl who is being like uh, who's being abused by uh, boys in her school. They are are touching her as part of like a game. Like you get points for touching her, and more points if you touch her like in a hug. And, uh, she feels so uncomfortable, but she doesn't even know what to do. Like all of these boys are part of a basketball team, and the counselor is the basketball coach, like the person she would go to, and like people are like maybe they just like you. Uh, and I don't think that kids know how to deal with this stuff. I don't think that uh, our students know always what to do when they're touched inappropriately, especially, um, I guess, for lack of a better term, like when they're touched inappropriately, like with clothes on. Um, so this book, I just like everyone needs to have this book around. Like there's so many, this book will like help so many kids. And just like shaking it, like make sure your school has this book. Uh, I think this would make an amazing middle school read aloud. I think that this book needs to be talked about. I think it would be amazing if schools and libraries and communities had book clubs around this book and they talked about this book and it would they would all be better. Everyone would be better because of that. And what more can you ask for in a book? Uh, I thought about this book nonstop since finishing it. Maybe he just likes you, book four. If you don't own this book, if you haven't read this book, it's time. The time is now. It's like. Like the time is now, like your kids need to be exposed to this book. So don't wait, don't wait until spring break, winter break, whatever break you are in front of, whatever is going on in your life, make sure that this book is added to your to read list if you haven't read it. Whew, got excited there. All right, let's make the world a better place. Let's not wait to do that. Read books like this, maybe he just likes you. Fifth book on my list is My Jasper June by Laurel Snyder. So I am a friend of Laurel Snyder's. Like, does that make sense? I'm friends with Laurel Snyder and her book Orphan Island and Bigger Than a Bread Box are two of my favorite, Ted, probably two of my 15 favorite middle grade novels the last decade. Like I am a huge Laurel Snyder fan in the fan club. Did I just, are fan clubs still a thing? Anyways, I was worried because I loved her other books so much and like you like her as a person and she's cool and you want to like her other books. So you get worried and then you read it and you're like, oh, it's a Laurel Snyder book. You love it. Of course you do. So Leah and Jasper, Two unforgettable characters, an amazing story, not at all what you expect. Just like experiencing Jasper's journey and figuring out life and how her summer is going and like uncovering her past and seeing how like her old friends are weaved in with and like then meeting this new character, Jasper. You should just read the book. RJ Palacio says this book is a treasure. I really agree. I think that there are some kids in the world who really need this book. I think that tons of kids in this world need to read this book. But I really think that this is one of those books that for some kids, like they're just waiting for an adult. They're waiting for a gatekeeper. They're waiting for a kid to book talk this. They're waiting for this book. And it's like they maybe have waited their whole life for someone to hand them this book. So Read this book and then be the person that hands it to that kid that needs it. Thank you. All right. So these are my five unforgettable 
books of 2019. These are the books I'm nominating for the Nerdy Book Club Awards. I want to know down in the comments below, what books did I miss? What books are you nominating? What are your favorite 2019 reads? I will also put, if I remember, a link to my favorite books of 2019, all of them, before I had to narrow it down. Friends, thank you so much for reading. Thank you so much for putting books into the hands of kids. It's important work. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it in 2020 and on and on and on. Thank you so for my Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an awesome-tastic day and happy, happy reading.